Uh, you know, very, very proud of the guys bouncing back, you know, after a tough loss last Let's night to come out here in the fourth day in a row. And, uh, you know, really, you know, as, as Coach Barry always said, you know, stay in the middle of the ring, you know, and uh, it was a good club. You had to earn, we had to earn it and uh, very pleased with the pitching again. And, uh, and I thought our guys, you know, battled at the plate really well. So very proud of that win. Can you talk about the lineup shakeup today? Um, I feel like in the past, probably see that a couple weeks down the road rather than the, the next day. Well, you know, I mean, it's not a panic thing by any means. It's early. You want to see what guys can do and try to find the right formula. And um, and I don't know if we have. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's an ongoing process and stuff. But you just got to get guys out there and let them compete and, uh, you know, and, and, and be ready for their time. So, you know, that was pretty much the, the gist of that. Just kind of shake it up and see if we can't find a little bit of spark and maybe it helped. Uh, Double-digit strikeouts for the past four days in a row. Uh, seems like the pitching staff's falling right into place. Yeah, I, I mean, I like. I, I've been saying it. You know, I like the guys. I think the pieces are there, and uh, you know, they've been pretty greedy. You know, with the freebies and uh, piling up some strikeouts. So, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go at hitters. We're gonna pitch to contact. That's just kind of what we are and what we do. And uh, these guys are buying into it. So, very proud of that. Coach, speak a little bit to the strategy with Will coming into this game. Finished a lot of guys off with his fastball, but he got three, three pitches going. Uh, he did. He had a great mix uh, of three pitches going. And, you know, we, we do our homework, watch video last night, this morning on these guys. And to me, it felt like that uh, when you get to two strikes, sometimes the fastball might be the best play. I think their approach was, uh, you know, try to, uh, you know, sit soft sometimes, you know, with two strikes. And uh, at least that's what I thought. And I thought we were able to beat him with some fastballs late. But Will, Will looked amazing. He, he's got good stuff. And, uh, you know, there's three pitches coming out of the same spot. So it's uh, when he's like that, he can keep him on, you know, ice skates pretty good. Well, that fastball, was it about ride or location or both? It's, but he's a strike thrower. So, you know, he can command it, but it also has ride. It definitely does. You know, when it gets up there, you know, around that belt or a little bit higher, it's tough for those guys to catch up to, for sure. You know, if it's a midweek and uh, Will's out there, just how scary can this rotation be when he's going like that career day to day, the first start of the year? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think we have, you know, multiple guys that can uh, get us out of the gate and start, and uh, and Will's certainly one of them. So it just it link, lengthens out your staff. And, uh, you know, so I'm, you know, I'm always very cautiously optimistic, but I think the ingredients are there to, you know, be a handful on the mound. You talk about seeing Pato deliver. I know you kind of want to see Wilkes, Monastery your three returners kind of produce a little bit more, but just talk about Peyto delivering, uh, kind of ceiling for you guys. Well, that was big. I mean, we needed that. We needed, you know, he got the big hit there and got that home run. And, uh, you know, that was, you know, the two runs were the difference in that game. So, yeah, I mean, you know, these guys in baseball, you know, you, you play a lot of games, you get a lot of ABs because it's a game that, uh, you know, requires rhythm and, and all that stuff. So it takes some time. And, and uh, sure, we, we want our guys, to, the dudes, to be dudes and stuff. And uh, we're going to give them that opportunity to keep going out there and working at it every day and, and uh, you know, put confidence in them, let them know we, we believe in them. It seems like. It seems like to me that you have really no problem getting them on base. You just can't get them in. How does that kind of work? Opportunistic, yeah. Um, we've done a great job uh, of earning our freebies, you know, with the, the plate discipline and stuff. Got, we've had a lot of traffic on the bases. So now you, you got to capitalize when that happens and, and get that big hit and, and not, not let the moment get too big, you know, just kind of slow your heart rate down and uh, just trust the fundamentals of, of things. And, uh, you know, a base hit's all you need sometime instead of thinking, you know, too big. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, that trend will get continue to get better to where we get guys on. We'll be able to get them in. Two, two big hits. Can you want to talk a little bit about Austin? Try that big double in the bottom of the sixth. Kind of gets you going. Then he leads off again in the seventh with another double. He, I mean, Ozzy's been. You know, that's kind of what he is, man. He's up there. He's not afraid to. You know, get a good swing off. And uh, you know, he's not going to be perfect every time. But he's been a really good catalyst. You know, I think thus far we've seen that in these last four games. So. Uh, glad he's here for sure. Did you did you think it was a home run? I couldn't tell. I mean, I, for out of the bat, I didn't think it had enough trajectory on it. But uh, you know, you, we kind of lost it in that white sign, so we didn't know. But you know, we'll take a double right there, and you know, then tune a phone up with one, getting one over the fence. So that was huge. First road test of the year on Wednesday. Um, have, have you guys kind of thought what the rotation's going to look like for who's going to start? Uh, yeah, um, I don't know if we're going to call it out right now, but uh, we probably will tomorrow. But yeah, I know I know what we have, and uh, you know, and it'll be a game where we'll let that young man get us out of the gate, then probably staff it up to hopefully where we'll be you know fresh and ready for the weekend. To that, tons of games early for you guys, plus or minus for you in your mind. Uh, say that one more time. Got a ton of games early for you guys. Is it 
plus or minus in your mind? Or you just oh. see all these guys get out here, going and get them out? Absolutely. You know, when Coach Kaz at Air Force called me this uh, past July and said, hey, you want to go on Monday? And uh, I said, yeah, because I felt like uh, we had the pitching depth to, to handle that, and it kind of forces you to see guys. I know we haven't got everybody in, but, uh, you know, their chance can come on Wednesday and then moving into the weekend. So it's, it's good to play a lot of innings early and kind of get guys going and, and see what you have. Thanks, Coach. Just to start off, uh, what was your mentality heading to that big at-bat in the bottom of the seventh inning? Um, honestly, it was a moon situation. We had a runner on second, so uh, I knew I just had to hit a ball on the right side of the field in the air on the ground to get him to third, so uh, the batter behind me could just hit him in. So that was honestly, I was trying to pull the ball. That's, that's quite frank. Ozzie thought he had him to run. Did, did you tell him anything when you when you hit him in? I did not. I mean, to be honest, I thought it was a home run too. The ball just uh, disappeared. <laughs> I thought it was a home run. So, uh, I mean, Ozzie's hot right now. I mean, I just keep doing what he's doing. I reckon. When you hit your first home of the year, every time it happens, what's that feel like when you're on the base for the first time in that year? Uh, I mean, it's incredible, you know. Uh, kind of reminds me how fortunate I am to be here. Uh, super blessed to be here. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You know, just kind of reminds me that uh, I've been given a, a very rare opportunity to be on this team and, uh, you know, never taking for granted. It's an incredible feeling. Who was kind of sad after this weekend? I know you know, the hitting was up and down. I mean, what did you guys kind of talk about, talk about beforehand in this game? Um, you know, it, we shouldn't have lost Sunday. That's how it is. Baseball, it is what it is. Um, we kind of just talked about how with our offense, we have way more potential. We didn't play to the caliber that we're capable of. Uh, kind of just try to slow the game down and just go up there and relax and have fun and just, just swing the bat. You know? what, what kind of team is Air Force like facing them? You know, they're tough out. You're 75 scoring. Oh, uh, I mean, they're they're definitely a good ball club, a respectable ball club, you know. Um, but honestly, we don't play them any differently than any other team. Um, at the end of the day, we're going to play them the same way we do a, a Power 5 school or a, a smaller mid-major. You know, it's, it's baseball. We, we play every game the same way because at the end of the day, I mean, you can lose any team. You can beat any team. So that's how it is. So we just play every every team the same. What did you think of the lineup shakeup? Uh, did you did you expect to see that? Was that something that was talked about? Um, I honestly did not. Uh, you know, I, I don't ever really question our coaches. They, they That's kind of what they get paid to do. So, uh when I saw that lineup, I was like, all right, let's do it. The coach has some kind of plan, so uh, just kind of rolled with it. So did everybody else. Do you have a, a preference? To, I know you hit lead off a few years ago when, when Gabe got hurt. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you prefer to be up there or would you rather down there? Uh, I actually got asked this question today in Dear VP. You know, I don't really uh, I don't really have a preference, you know. Um, I'm just happy to be here. So if I'm, if I'm uh, on the team, I'm happy. So it doesn't really matter to me. It, it felt like the offense said, you know, did a better job in key situations. What was your take on that? How you feel like it's improved from the Bears series? I know it just happened. Yeah, I mean, there was definitely some uh, moving situations and scoring situations we didn't do too well this weekend, you know. Uh, that was one of the key things that uh, our coaches were kind of saying this weekend. I mean, uh, today and yesterday after the game, you know. Uh, so today it was uh, – Really, really cool to see us kind of putting the pieces together, especially in big time situations and kind of our job situations. We like to call it. Thank you. Uh, Will, you know, just start uh, nine strikeouts, career high. Uh, what were you feeling on the mound today, first start of the year? Uh, you know, screwing was pretty high. Pretty excited to be back up, up the mound for the first time. And uh, I don't know all the pitch, all my pitches felt good. Felt like I could command them. And I think that's what happens when you take a zone like that. What, what happened with the, the two hit batters right there? It's kind of your, your only blemishes of the night. Yeah, I mean, as much as I like to attack the zone sometimes, it just uh, doesn't happen. So, I mean, so, sometimes if you myself in the foot, all I can do is try to minimize and go you know, keep attacking. And they're, they're, they're bunting. Did that do anything? Was that part of it? or, or was it just... I mean, I don't think so. Just, I think I was the team leader in HBPs last year. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm on track to do that again. Can you talk a little bit about your pitch mix tonight? Looks like you had three going for you. And you finished a lot of guys off with fastball. And you kind of up several times in different places. Can I speak to that? Yeah, uh, one of the strategies going on is we uh, wanted to attack with fastball. Just two strikes. And uh, you know, like I said, just press, press my calls and two strikes. And I did. And uh, you know, we made the right call. Um, just based on, on, on tonight's performance, just to start your year, um, what steps you want to take this season compared to last? You know, I mean, last season, I mean, I think I had a few starters, but not really. I think this season they wanted to send me to a full-time starter. So uh, having you know, stamina, endurance is something I need to focus on if I'm going to fulfill that role.
Well, could you please explain the very sad or you know very nice stuff that's always called? I'm just kind of curious on that meme or, or that inside joke. Yeah, it's just me and some of my friends from Pico. We just kind of co-opted some phrases and stuff and put it in social media and just kind of almost kind of inside joke. We speak to each other like that via text and stuff and comment on each other's things. So, How did that start? I can't remember. I think I started just saying it to him back in Pico. Then we all kind of adopted and kind of became like an inside thing. So it's not really that deep. It's just. Yeah. Are you a fan of Adele? Yeah, it's, a, I mean, it's like that era of music a lot. So, yeah. So not a not a James Bond fan, more Adele. Fan. I mean, Skyfall is a great movie. I like, I like that movie a lot. So I'd say I'm a fan of both. You feel like hearing Adele before you pitch makes you more intimidating, maybe? It's more like when I'm pitching, uh, I know some guys like getting amped up. Personally, I like to try to feel calm, relax, and focus. It helps me get up and pitch better. So, yeah. When did the when did you have the aha moment of this should be my walkout song? Well, usually I like to change it up every year. I think actually uh, paid a mission to me, made sure to try it out and listen. Try different spots, and I was like, all right, let's give it a go, see how it sounds, and uh, yeah. Yeah, man, you told us you were keeping Lincoln Park. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I ended up changing it, but you know, I like my new toys. So. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man.